What's up cute dolls and welcome back to my vlog channel. Long time no talk to. Um, it's been quite a minute since I've been able to come back but I'm excited to have weekly vlogs so make sure you are subscribed, hit the bell notification and also remember to like this video, comment down below on what style or what type of vlogs you would like to see from here on out. Um, but today I'm bringing you an Ulta haul. Let's get into the look and then we can get into the rest of the video. My hair, I just washed my hair last night and I didn't really know what to do with it. I stretched it out last night and then today I combed it out. And then as I was doing it, I was about to put it into a protective style to throw a wig on. But then I was like... Wear your, wear your natural hair out. You haven't worn your natural hair out in a while. People don't even know what it looks like. Do something cute with it. Wear it out. So I just gelled my edges down. Thank God they actually stayed. Um, I did two braids right here. And then I just did some cute little puff balls. And this is my natural hair color. It's like sandy and a little reddish. On the face, go to my TikTok. And I'll try to announce like when I go live, when I'm about to go live. Make sure you are tuned in because I give it all there. Um, from the tools that I use, the makeup and everything. I put it all on live. So you will have to check back there. Also on the nails. <laughs> Not too much on these nails. <laughs> Not too much, not too much, but these are the nails that I'm rocking with right now. These I just thought were cute um, colors for uh, the month of December. This jewelry right here, the earrings, and then the bracelet. I believe this is from JCPenney from a couple years back. And then just a basic black dress from one of those online boutiques. So with all of that being said, welcome back. Lately, I have not been getting the correct color foundations right, but this is the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. And look at this color, y'all. Y'all know that's not even my color. And then I picked up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So one is like a stick form and one is a liquid form. These are both going back to Ulta so I can get my correct shade. Then I also picked up two packs of the All May um, makeup wipes. I just seen that these had pretty nice reviews online. Um, so yeah, so I thought to try it. Then I was recommended these wipes by Pacifica. Um, one is the Pacifica Glowing Makeup Removing Wipes, and it just looks like this. And then one is the Pacifica Moisture Rehab Makeup Removing Wipes with Rose and Coconut. So I haven't smelled these yet. I haven't opened them, but I'm pretty sure they might smell amazing. Um, some people don't like scented products on their face. I can deal with scented products um, just so long as it doesn't break me out. And then this is some makeup wipes by Beachy Labs. It's the Makeup Removing Micellar Cleaning Wipes by v Vici Labs. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I don't know if it's Vicky or Vici. So y'all had to bear with me. <laughs> and I picked up this Super Collagen Mist by DHC. Then I believe this was a freebie by Vici Lab Lift Active Supreme Serum right here. I think this is a freebie. I don't think I picked it up. I think it's like an anti-aging serum. And then I got this freebie set by Dermalogica. Uh, it's called Zone by Zone Response. And then in it, it has the special cleansing gel. And it also has the Smart Response Serum. And it just looks like this. And that's another main reason why I really love shopping on Ulta because of all the deals and the freebies you can get while purchasing everything you've already needed. Um, it's been a while since I ordered skincare um, and things of that sort, so I really needed to re-up on makeup wipes and all kinds of things. So I was already purchasing a lot of this stuff and then I got a few freebies in return. And I really love that about Ulta. Ulta does really, really well with that. Next one, this is the next box. It has the absolute most in it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I picked up the Michael Todd 2-in-1 Dermaplaning System Exfoliation 
and hair removal replenishment kit. Um, I have the tool for this and then these are just the blades. Then I have these um, JCAT Masterclass Face FX color palettes and one is in the regular color palette with the white and black and you know the primary colors and things of that sort and then the other one is in a neon color so it has all of the neon shades and I just purchased these because I really want to start getting into creative makeup artistry um, so these are face paints that you can use on the face to create looks for the holidays like Christmas looks the Grinch and things of that sort New Year's Whatever you want to create, I'm pretty sure you can create with those palettes and some good brushes. So yeah, I really want to try my hand at that. So I could not pass this up. This is the Pixie um, plus Hello Kitty A for Apples holiday kit. And I could not pass this up because if you don't know, I love all things Hello Kitty. Like if you give me anything Hello Kitty, I'll be so appreciative and loving of it. I love all things Hello Kitty. Um, so this glow tonic, I had to have it because it has a little Hello Kitty, um, head on there. And also it has three A for Apple sheet masks. So I will let you guys know how much I like the sheet mask. And also really quick about the glow tonic, as much as I love it, they say you can use it on the face. I find it a little too abrasive to use on the face daily. If you're using it on the face, I recommend maybe only once or twice per week. And I find that it works best for my neck area, especially the back of the neck where all of the oils and dirt and all that stuff kind of collects. So I really love having this stuff on hand to really, after you wash your face and your neck, it really like extracts everything that it needs to extract. I have been running low on the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And so I got the Mist and Mingle set. So I also picked up the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. Okay, and then I've also picked up the Dermalogica Holiday Set right here. And this comes with um, the Daily Glycolic Cleanser and the Daily Microfoliant. Now I've heard of the Daily Microfoliant, which Jackie Ina, if you watch Jackie Ina's channel, she always, always mentions the daily foliant and how much you use it, how much you love it. So I was like, I need to try this for myself. Now this, the Chalk Chalk Green Tea No Wash Cleansing Water. Now I've tried this, I've had it, and I actually could not wait to repurchase it again. I've been out of it for the last two or three months, and y'all, I could not wait to get this back in my possession i i have to keep that on hand that does wonders for the face for extracting impurities um i see less acne less breakouts when i use that product so i definitely highly recommend keeping that into your skincare um and from what i remember it's not super pricey the Chalk Chalk Green Tea Watery Cream. I have not tried this yet, but I have seen really, really great reviews on Ulta. So I was like, since I already like the water, why not the cleansing water? Why not uh, try the watery cream? If y'all want me to vlog and do a, um, what do you call it? A full skincare routine on camera, just let me know. Just let me know and I feel like I can film that and get that out for you so the next two products i picked up are from the ordinary brand i have not tried either of these products before one is the hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 and then one is the 100 percent plant derived squalane so they look like this and um everybody has been raving about squalene 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 and skincare treatments and things of that sort i have never ever in my life tried squalene before so i was like what better time to try it test it out and you know let my loved ones my friends know um if they should add it to their skincare or not because this is the power pocket puff it's a dual sided powder puff but only one comes in here but it's dual sided 
And I decided to pick this up because everybody and mom will be talking about this. They say that this will have your under eye areas and pretty much any areas that you set with powder flawless. So the next few products are coming from Vicky Laboratories or Vici Laboratories. Vichy, Vicky, Vicky, I don't know. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So this one right here is the only one I haven't tried. And then the other three products that I'm going to show you next, I have tried them. I've loved them. And they are all repurchases except, like I said, this one. So this is their Norma Derm Phyto Action Daily Deep Cleansing Gel. And it has silicystic acid acne treatment in it with zinc and copper minerals and Vichy volcanic water so this is a cleanser and i was like since i already love some of their other products why not try the um the cleanser and i will let you guys know how much i really like it or if i don't but vici has never let me down um at all like nothing that i use from them have let me down it says mineralizing thermal water born in the french volcanoes um is rich in 15 minerals it has a stronger barrier for healthier looking skin so this is the bottle right here this is probably about my fourth third or fourth bottle that i've purchased if y'all don't already have this in your skin care collection please go get this because after i wash my face this is typically the first thing that i'm reaching for now these two are repurchases as well from beachy uh laboratory the bigger one is for the face serum and the small one is for the eye serum so first i'm going to start with brows so i have three brow products all from nyx um nyx must have been having a sale where i felt like i needed three brow products from them it's the brow glue by nyx this one right here and i really wanted this because i am wearing more of my natural brows now than i've had before and i wanted to prime them with this so that i can get them all glued down and laying in the right direction um and then i typically like to go in with a brow tint so this is the nyx um, brow tint in the shade brunette and this is slightly lighter than my brows and my hair color, but I don't mind because I'm still able to use it. And actually, the lighter brows, it's actually on trend now, the lighter brows. So yeah, I thought to pick that up. And then I also, I rarely draw my brows in anymore, but I just picked up the Micro Brow Pencil by NYX in the shade Chocolate. And then I also picked up these right here. This is my favorite lash glue by Kiss, and it is the Strip Lash Adhesive. It's latex-free, it's clear. I loved it ever since back in the day, and now I hear more and more people talk about it because it's really just that good. This one is a new purchase, but it's also by Kiss, but it's not the clear. It's a Strip Lash Adhesive, but it dries black. So anytime that I'm in a hurry and I want to do a wing liner, but I also want to add lashes, I felt like this would be good. Now, this was quite pricey, so I really hope it's worth the price. But this is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. And this is just how it looks right here. I decided to pick up the Milani Make It Last Original um, Setting Mist. I really love how fine this mist is. And I really, really love how small this is. And it's perfect for you to take when you're traveling. So then I just picked up the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealers. And this is how they look. So I always like to get one that's in my shade and one that's a little bit lighter. The lighter one is in the shade Neutral Tan. And then the one that's closer to my skin color is in the shade Golden Honey, I believe. Last but not least in that bag... I just picked up the NYX Suede Lip Liners in the shades Cold Brew. The Cold Brew is the brown. In the magenta looking shade, it is Sweet Tooth, I believe. Yeah, so Sweet Tooth and Cold Brew. So these are the two NYX Lip Liners that I picked up. 
And NYX lip liners are my favorite lip liners in the world. But someone in a vlog had put me on to the, um, the LA Girl Perfect, Perfect Precision uh, lip liners. And it's actually longer than the NYX lip liner. So yeah, um, the NYX one is the shorter one and the LA Girl is the longer one. And so the LA Girl is actually cheaper and longer than the NYX one. And I did pop this open just to try it one day and I really do love the creaminess of it. So I might be repurchasing a lot more of these um, than the NYX Suede. But either or you can't go wrong with those are two of my favorite pencil uh, lip liners. Okay, so last but certainly not least is this e.l.f. cosmetic bag. And this was a freebie. The whole bag itself and everything inside of it was totally free. So this is how she's looking. Look how pretty and pink and glittery she is. I was contemplating giving this bag to my mom, but we'll see. We'll see, because it's so pretty. Like if they would have made this in purple, ah. So I'm gonna save the um, fragrance samples for last. What I really love about the Ulta Beauty bags is that they give you like three different categories of things. They give you all of the little packets of samples. Then they give you things like full size products, full size samples. This is a um, MAC Max mascara. And then this is like some cream and everything. So those are some full size samples that came within that baggie that I showed you along with like five different perfume samples that you can actually like spray. So first up is the Only the Best Day Will Do by Drunk Elephant. And it is the jelly cleanser on one side and then it's the polypeptide cream. So it's two packets. Let me show you. It's two packets that come in here and that's how they look. So get to try those. And then we have two packets from the brand Alterna. Alterna, I believe. One is the scrub to foam and one is the hemp leave on treatment. So I get to try those. I have not your mother's um, anti-frizz shampoo and anti-frizz conditioner. And I have the CoverGirl uh, weightless water cream pack. I also have sexy hair enriched with imperfect nectarine. So this is a sexy hair product. And then I have the Peter Thomas Roth. I don't even care to get a magnifying glass to see what this is. But if you guys know what it is, drop it in the comments below. We have the Nude Stick Citrus Citrus Sea Mask and Daily Moisturizer. So this is what this looks like. Then we have the Exuviance Radiant Serum right here. We also have the Beauty Stat Universal C Eye Perfector. We also have the Acne Clarifying Cleanser by Peach Slices, I believe. I believe that's the brand, Peach Slices. We also have <laughs> the last thing for the packs, which is the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. So it just looks like this. So next we're gonna go into some of the fuller size samples that they had in that baggie. So it confidence in a cream right here. And let me open that up. That's just how much you get in there. You then also get a full size MAC mascara. Well, not full size, but sample size MAC, MAC mascara. So then we have the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. It's 100% uh, fuller looking brows. Well, that was in the test. And then 94% saw healthier looking brows. So this right here. 
And then Honest Company sent uh, a hydrogel cream. And this is like a watery type water cream um, right here. I did open it and put a little on my skin and it was definitely watery on the finish, but it came out just like a thick cream. Irresistible by Givenchy. This is an all day perfume. And like I said, it's a full size sample. Really love this scent. It's like a sweet uh, floral and I don't really like floral perfumes. But I am finding that I like floral perfumes that are sweet or that are clean um, and not just like straight bouquet of flower type thing. So that's my favorite out of the bunch. And then I think this is my second favorite. This is the Versace um, Dylan Turquoise right here. My third favorite out of the batch is the Aqua Di Gioi. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's the Aqua by Giorgio, Giorgio Armani, and I'm just going to call it the Aqua. Fourth favorite out of the bunch is the YSL Black Opium Illicit Green, and this smells just like the original Black Opium, but it does have um, like a green apple, slightly sour finish on it, so... It's really like a twist to the original Black Opium if you like it. And then the Viva La Juicy is always a classic. I have this perfume now. Just smells like fresh bubble bath and everything. Just really, really nice classic scent to have. Those are all of the fragrance samples that I got in that baggie. Okay, cute all. So now that we've gotten through everything, please let me know if you actually have some of these products. If you've actually tried some of these products, if you like them, if you don't like them, let me know all of that in the comment section below. Also, let me know what do you plan to pick up um, and do you have any recommendations for me to pick up as far as makeup wipes, lip liners, anything that I've kind of mentioned, foundations, whatever. If you have any really good recommendations for me, leave it down below. Also, tell me some of your um, fragrance favorites. Uh, if you're into perfumes, cologne, stuff like that, um, let me know in the comment section, what do you rock all the time? Like, what is your favorite perfume, your favorite scent to wear? What are your favorite um, perfume combinations? Um, until the next vlog, see y'all in the next one. Bye.